Hello, so today I want to show you how to remove the uh, actuator panel of a wall hung toilet. I got here the uh, gabarit. So we start out with checking here on the side if there's a screw. Some of these panels have a screw on the side that you have to loosen first. So this one does not have a screw, so I'm going to skip that step. Next, I'm going to put my fingers here on the bottom. I'm going to hold the panel here on the top and I'm going to push the whole panel up as far as it can go. Just It's just a little bit. And then I'm going to lift out the top of it. So now we see the internals of this. And now to get more access to it, you have here the uh, actuator buttons. So you should, and these can stay in place, I believe. And then next we're going to push these little levers here. The left one goes up, the, the right one goes down. And then we can rotate these two levers here counterclockwise. And at this point we can lift out this panel. Okay, so now the next step is to push down on these two buttons here, on these two tabs here, and then we can lift this out. And now we have full access here to the tank and we can do whatever we have to do here. So putting it back together, it's the reverse procedure, just put this in first, this cover. And I'm putting this frame back in. Don't forget to push this in all the way and then move these clockwise and we put these tabs in. So then to get the actuator plate back on, uh, we have to make sure we have these little springs here on the left and on the right and then the plate has these little tabs here on the bottom. And we have to make sure that these tabs catch behind the springs here on the left and on the right otherwise it won't attach right so we do that we're just holding it pretty level to it and then we lift it up all the way push the top towards the wall and then let go and now it's nice and tight again <laughs> 